Hello and welcome to the Sims 7 product update for the summer 2024 release. In this session we'll be taking a look at the impact of the new attendance code changes for schools in England in Take Register and Lesson Monitor. So let's begin. If we first navigate to Take Register and if I was to open up a register from within the search, in this instance I'll pick 11A and click OK. On loading the register, we can see, as we usually would, we can go in and start to record attendance. If, however, I was to right click and select display codes and bring the screen over into the middle, we can now see the new codes that are available alongside those that are pre-existing, indicating that C1, C2, J1, and if I scroll down to the bottom of the list alphabetically, we can see the new Y1 through Y7 codes available as well that can be chosen for a student in Sims. If I were to scroll up the list, I can now start marking students' presence within the register as I would if I was taking the register on any typical day. I can do so also via keying this in manually via the keyboard as opposed to using the code pop-up screen. And when I get to an instance, however, that I know that there may be a requirement to record one of the new multi-character codes, I can either select it from the code list or I can key it directly onto the register. I can continue on marking the rest of the students in the register present as necessary. Now that I've done that, if I save the register, I can now see that that recorded code of J1 sits against the relevant pupil clearly in the column for the AM period. If we were to close the code screen and instead what we can do is if we close out of Take Register and if I was to go to Focus, Lesson Monitor and Edit Marks, we can have a look at it from the Edit Marks point of view. If I was to scroll down to 11A, select that and then open. We can now see the code of J1 recorded against Jensen Fisher as we did in the Take Register screen just a moment ago. If however, as an administrator, I wanted to come in and make any adjustments, I could do just that by marking it as overwrite, right clicking and doing display code. Likewise, I could enter this via a keyboard. I could then go through, I could select the necessary code and then I could select that for the student required before then saving the register. We can now clearly see that the newly regarded multi-character attendance codes of J1 and C1 are like any of the other multi-character codes that can be selected, are clear and visible on a register via intake register or edit marks. If you have any further ideas or feedback, please do let us know via the ESS Ideas portal or via the Sim7 Satisfaction survey. I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.